G'day y'all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be backtracking to Puppy Linux Fossa Pup 9.5. So a couple of things in the lightweight distro challenge that I was unaware of in Puppy Linux. So I'm just going to revisit those things, which is um, uninstalling quick pets and updated software. Now, somebody has made a comment on my YouTube channel talking about how I missed updating the, I think the repos they were talking about and getting updated software that way besides quick pets. So we're going to be having a look at that. Let's get started. So here we are in the Fossa Pup 9.5 desktop. So let's check out what I'm talking about here. Some things weren't very obvious to me um, when I was first doing this. I've done Puppy Linux before, but just how to install. So we've got the Puppy Package Manager here. Now somebody mentioned on my YouTube channel in a comment, next to the uninstall button, there's another button, Configure Package Ma Manager. So let's check that out. So you got Add New Repo there. So everything seems to be checked off. Puppy has a database file for each package repository. This downloads the latest information on what packages are in the repository. So let's update now and see what happens there. So I haven't done this in Puppy. Database update failed. So I'm not sure, press any key to exit. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Have we got internet? I better check we've got internet, should have. It's in a virtual box. Oh, it's a single click, isn't it? So it looks to me like we've got internet there. So I've pressed the button uh, for the second time. It looks like things are happening now. So maybe that just didn't update first. And now it's uh, running through some of the updates. Finished, please restart package manager. Press enter to exit. Okay, that's interesting. So let's um, close that for starters. Let's close that and open package manager again. And let's do a search for LibreOffice and see whether the latest LibreOffice is in there. So 6.4.6. So that's the latest it gets, that's fine. That's still a pretty up-to-date, a reasonably up-to-date LibreOffice anyway. But still not as up-to-date as uh, LibreOffice 7, which I did install, I believe. Let's check it out, LibreOffice 7. Help and about, LibreOffice 7.0.1.2. So very up to date there. Now, the problem I had um, was uninstalling. If you wanted to uninstall um, the Quick Pets, because that was installed with the Quick Pet. I keep double clicking, don't I? So that's probably open twice. So under Office, I installed LibreOffice version seven under here. So Quick Pet seems to be more up to date than than what's in the Puppy Package Manager on some occasions. You may find some of them might be the same. I'm not sure, I haven't gone through any packages at all. So now, if you install with QuickPet and you wanna uninstall, this is how you do it. I would never have chosen this application here, SFS load on the fly. <laughs> I would never have known that was the um, the application for uninstalling Quick Pets. So I've got GIMP 2.10.18 and LibreOffice 7.0.1. And all you need to do here is choose it and unload, and it will unload the Quick Pet. So that's how that works. Now also got a comment um, <clears throat> on my Puppy Linux video 
regarding copying from USB onto like images and things like that onto Puppy Linux. Now, I'm really not sure because I haven't done that before. I could probably somehow add a USB in here and see if I can copy some stuff over. Let's do that. I'm not sure if I've actually set up USB on the VirtualBox, but we'll soon find out. Devices, USB. So I probably haven't got it set up. All right, so let me shut down and we'll come back. Okay, so I'm not sure if I've added groups for VirtualBox in um, Pop! OS. Um, I've pretty much just been using it to look at uh, distros. So what I need to do is, first of all, add the uh, VirtualBox shared file. So I need to add that to the group. sudo group add vbox sf which I'm sure adds for shared file. So let's do that. Okay, so we've done that. Now I need to add my name to that group. sudo usermod dash little a dash capital G vbox sf and my name. Let's do that. That's done. And then I need to add USB support. So sudo user mod dash a dash capital G again vbox users and my name. Done. So now I should be able to add. Uh, maybe I'll restart VirtualBox, probably a good idea. So let's do that. Go to the settings, USB. Now we did have a problem here with USB 3, I think at one point. I'll see if USB 3 works. Let's add no devices. Oops. <laughs> Get rid of the filters. So there's no devices available right now. Yes, and I know why. Let's have a look. My, uh, yeah, it's not connected. That's the problem. So I have one of those USB hubs, but I'm also running a USB dock with a, with a USB internal hard drive on that dock. And whenever I have that running, this uh, four USB hub, which is not powered, will not run another USB, just a normal USB stick while that's running. So I probably need to add it into the device's USB direct. So there we go, USB stick connected. That's why I was having problems with that. So what I've done is I've connected the USB directly to the NUC and not in the USB hub. So if you have that problem, um, for some reason, it must be too much power for the USB hub because it's not a powered USB hub, so it's, it just doesn't have the, um, the power within it to, to have two USBs running. Think if it's two USB sticks without any power, it's probably fine. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Go to settings and USB. Um, add. Still not showing any devices. All right, so I'm going to log out and log back in. Okay, so never a dull moment in Linux, is there? <laughs> um, I forgot that uh, Pop! OS has some sort of logout problem on my device for some reason. Um, so I have to restart. So let's open up VirtualBox. Go to the settings, USB. And there we go. So now we have um, my USB A data flash drive. Yes, it's an A data, so that's the one. Okay, so let's start the virtual box. Okay, so we are in Puppy Linux. Here we have the USB stick right there. So that's that. So what have I got here I can copy over? Um, like a picture here. Oh, I double clicked again, didn't I? 
So I've got the, the background on my Pop! OS here. So let's copy that, copy, and uh, where do we go from here? Let's go to Downloads. And that's paste in there. Okay. So if I um, remove the USB, unmount SDB. So that's not mounted now. So we'll go to the files and downloads. And there's my picture. Let's open that up. And there's the picture. Now I think people are asking um, possibly um, if it's still there, if that's in the saved folder, because there is a saved folder. So let's shut down. What we're going to do is shut down Puppy Linux. And we're going to start up again, if that is still available. Okay, so let's check out File Manager, Downloads, and the picture is still there. Now, that was a question that was asked for somebody, where do I save things from USB onto Puppy. As you can see, the USB has been disconnected. So what we're going to do now is check out the downloads folder. It's still there after reboot. So what we're going to do now is add some new directories. So that's a new directory and we'll call that pictures. If I can spell it right. Let's create that and we'll do one called documents as well. And create that. So now what I'm going to do is in the downloads folder or directory, we'll cut that into pictures. paste and there we go so I've added some more directories instead of just having the downloads folder we now got pictures documents we could add videos if we wanted to there's my um, wallpaper from pop OS in the pictures directory or folder there so what we're going to do is restart puppy and just make sure that it's still there and we are back on the desktop of Puppy Linux. So let's check out our file manager. Look in pictures and there's our picture. Now I know when you install Puppy Linux, it, it somehow creates some type of save folder or save space. And I would have to think that um, all of these folders here, all these directories are part of that save space. Now under utility, you have resize personal storage file. A puppy is currently using a save folder. There is no need to resize it. So there's a save folder there somewhere. And I'd have to think that these are included within that save folder. And I'd also have to think that however big your um, partition is, it's going to be using most of whatever that partition is, I would think. So that was Puppy Linux updating repositories, how to uninstall or unload quick pets and saving files onto Puppy Linux from USB. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.